I think I was must have been 20 then. Maybe 19. Yeah, I think I was 17 when I came there to Gumbo Strand the first time in the Christina party. I was about 24. I was about 28. First memory of him, Suomen linna. I was going to India already first time 1989. Also to go. I would think that he was a very good man to travel with. I don't know why, but for some reason very easy to travel with him. His knowledge and everything in him actually that you could really trust on him. He didn't always talk about saga. Sometimes he talked about like tea leaves or nature or you know weather or anything. Yeah, royal family is what happened in Sweden and <laughs> He was an easy man to go to, that you know there is some people, hey, let's go and meet Eeyore, and the pot is on stove, and then you know you come in and you have your tea with him. Tea and bread and candles, if it happened to be that time of the year, or around the year because he had his curtains down. It was quite amazing to go to this house. The guy sitting there, mostly naked, there is just candles, Seeing all these paintings on the walls and all these old books and it's like two young guys and <laughs> seeing all this is like wow <laughs> like this is a real mythology. Many people who travel to India in a way they go there kind of a little bit looking for some culture, something old, explanations of life and universe and in general everything. And I think Io had one of the best ones. It was really, really nice. His style of explaining was so super unique, like storyteller. And he was starting, if I'm asking something about First World War, for example, he is starting, you know, maybe a thousand years back and telling all kinds of stories and king lines from Austria. And I'm a little bit getting already boring. This is not the question I was asking. But then in the end, whoa, okay. It's coming there. Eeyore could tell the same story for a thousand times. He didn't care if there was like people who's been with him for 20 years. <laughs> but then suddenly, you know, in the middle of conversation or even in the middle of sentence, Eeyore is just changing, you know, the language from English to Finnish. It's a long, big story of how man evolved and developed and what we did with the planet and what the planet did with us and this kind of cooperation. And he said that he has these little boxes in the brain, tiny boxes, like thousands of them. And he goes in and he can pick the box and get the information from there. I've been freaking out and flipping in my own way here in many years time. Because to handle it, the story in your daily life with people who are not in the story, to balance this is a bit difficult, or it was more difficult before. You couldn't keep your own mouth shut. You just mm. had to talk about it, and then people start to flip around of your own flipping. Difficult that the saga is so huge that it, it blows up your brain. And so this way it's difficult to go in because you like you have to change your whole life view. The whole view about history and mythology. Kind of brainwash. What strong one. So it went on and on, and the temple was, excavations were going, you know, on and of course, but then I think it started to dry out, you know, a little bit. There was no money, you know, to continue. Sort of negative reflections, you know, started to come up. And then, you know, what happened, end of May 99, this guy returned from India, and maybe on the second or third day in Finland, he goes to Eeyore's town apartment, so he thinks that, okay, the only thing I can do, and the last thing I can do, that I have to kill Eeyore. But yeah, in, when I was in India, I just heard his voice on the phone. He said, okay, so you are coming, you can meet. I've been to India in uh, August, when I went to India for the festival. And I came back from, uh, after one month, before going there, 
the second assistant like nilesh he was quite okay like he was normal since i came back from there he was like abnormal he was like behaving so strange with bumble with me everybody but he was in a very bad state you know already many months before it happened he was also like some kind of hypnotized he so gross you know like flying through the living room and he was hallucinating then uh, he went out to talk with bumble he suddenly asked me like is your book is like a god for you and after that he came to kitchen he took the knife from there and i am also also not sure that what he is going to do that